to New Zealand. Thanks for joining me. My name is Paul Smith. I'm a photographer based here in New Zealand. Welcome back. Uh, been about five weeks I think since my last episode so uh, I thought it was time I came out and uh, just did a vlog and talked about some photography, talked about what I've been up to. As you know if you followed my vlog of uh, recent you'll know that I've uh, moved and hence I've had a, a lack of content on my photography channel which is cool I, I'm not I'm not stressing about that and uh, I want to thank everybody that's written to me and said to me you know don't worry about posting too much if you haven't got the time and I think it's uh, uh, it's been quite nice to be to be doing other stuff rather than just focusing so much on my photography channel and uh, it's also been nice from a photography perspective funny enough because I've actually been able to get out and just take pictures uh, without worrying about how I'm going to integrate it with the content on my channel. So when I first moved here, I just got thinking to myself, you know, how am I going to, how am I going to connect with this, with this new situation that I'm in? There's a lack of, I guess, variance of subject matter. Uh, I'm, I knew I was going to be busy here, working on my property. I knew I wasn't going to have a lot of time to get out and, and to travel around and, and, and do photography. So I knew that most of my photography in the short term anyway was going to be based in and around this little area here and I was a little bit concerned about how I was going to manage that. You know I've always believed that when you are living somewhere and you connect with the area that there's always enough there's enough things to photograph because you have a, a special connection with that place and pretty much straight away I've really connected with this little place here this little area um, and I haven't done a huge amount of photography here but I have been getting out, like I say, just with a camera. I haven't had to worry about my vlog. I haven't had to worry about whether I'm shooting digital, whether I'm shooting film, uh, you know, shooting for my viewers. I'm shooting for me at the moment, and uh, I haven't had to worry about whether I shoot my Leica, whether I shoot my Hasselblad, whether I shoot whatever. It's just been a case of picking up the most convenient camera. And I've just been getting out, taking pictures of, of stuff that I see. Uh, of landscapes, of um, the animals on the landscape. So what I want to do, I want to do, I just, I just want to share those images with you. I just want to share uh, the pictures that I've taken. Uh, again, not a lot of images, but just a few that I've taken over the last four or five weeks, uh, and uh, chance for me to to share some photography finally with you guys after a few weeks now. So uh, take a look at these pictures, and I'll just talk a little bit more about my experience. Um, while taking them and, and, and my motivation and my uh, the, the headspace that I'm in at the moment. So uh, check these out and, and enjoy. I'm used to give all I have I'm used to get nothing back Wherever I go it's the same no excuses, no one to blame. Sometimes 
Sometimes I can understand how it can be so hard to stay out of pain. But with you, everything has changed, even though we both stay the same. Would you call me on the midnight train? Would you come over when nothing's right? Would you hold me tight in the Like I said, I, I, I've really, I've really uh, enjoyed some of the photographs that I've been taking of late, and I hope you've enjoyed those pictures too. One of the things I've found by moving here is, is that you know, even though it's a little bit restrictive with what I've got to, you know, you know, at my disposal with subject matter, um, but you know, sometimes that can be, you know, lack of subject matter can sometimes uh, actually work in your favour, and it made me look more closely. At the scenes in front of me, at the uh, possibilities for my photography, and I must say that um, although I haven't been out a huge amount in the last four or five weeks, maybe half a dozen times, the times I have been out, I've been seeing things, uh, and it just goes to show, I think, that we may not always have the things that we want at our disposal, but that this shouldn't hinder our photography. And um, doesn't matter where you live, what your situation, there's always something out there. To, to photograph and I've really um, you know um, it's something I, I have talked a lot about uh, on this channel in the past and it's a case of taking my own medicine I guess and I have and, 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 and really enjoy getting out just s taking images of the scenes the landscape here in a way that's I think is unique to me a situation that I initially thought was going to be a little bit restrictive has been um, it's been quite a revelation and I've really enjoyed just getting out there taking shots of simple things, uh, simplifying my landscapes, uh, minimalizing them, uh, looking at the way that the animals, the, the, the sheep, the cattle, um, you know, uh, trees, the landscape just works around here. It's a very unique landscape here. As it is in all parts of the world, you know, your, your landscapes on your back door are unique to you and, 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 and to your environment. And uh, important to get out there and just shoot them and just uh, try and connect with them. Uh, try and connect with them in a way that nobody else can um, and especially when you live in a in a, in a certain place uh, your connection with that place is unique to you uh, and the more that you live there the longer you live there the greater that connection grows so it's been an interesting an interesting time for me next thing I quickly want to talk about um, not a photography matter but I just want to show you my tractor uh, uh, one of the things I've had to buy here a little Massey Ferguson 35 and you know, I, I love old stuff. I love old cameras, and uh, this is a this is a, a just a beautiful piece of machinery, a Massey, Massey Ferguson 35, which is you know they were produced between I think late 50s, uh, early 60s, 1959 I think to 1964, and I think this one here's a 1963 and 1964 model, so it's you know it's, a, it's it's older than I am, and it's just a just a beautiful piece of machinery, and I know a lot of you guys because you're into analog photography and analog stuff and old stuff that. Uh, that you'll hopefully appreciate this fine, fine, fine beast that I've just bought, and I've had a lot of fun on it. Um, that's it for this episode. Uh, again, uh, you know, I haven't been doing a lot of uh, vlogging and creating a lot of content for this channel, uh, but I have been getting out and taking photographs and really enjoying my photography of late, so I thought I'd share that with you guys today. 
Uh, before I go, if you'd like to support my channel, you can do so. Um, it's really important, you know, uh, to keep this channel going and to keep the content going. Uh, the support from my subscribers is um, much appreciated. And if you'd like to support the channel, the best way you can do that is to buy one of my books. Um, Scenes from the Black Sand is, is, is my latest book. It's available from my website. There's a link up here for that. Um, free shipping anywhere in the world. Uh, that's Scenes from the Black Sand, uh, which is a book about my photography when I was based up in Auckland on the West Coast beaches. Uh, of West Auckland, uh, Black Sand Beaches, uh, which is one of the most beautiful, you know, uh, parts of the country. Certainly from a photography perspective, uh, that's seen from the scenes from the Black Sand. Uh, available from the website. Put a link up here for it. I'll put a link below for that also. Uh, go check it out, please, and your uh, your support would be appreciated. That's it for this episode. Thanks for joining me again. Um, I've got to get on with the work around the property here. Uh, I've got lots to do. I've got houses to paint. I've got land to clear. I've got um, too much to think about hopefully it won't be too long before i get my next vlog out talking about and uh, taking you on a photography uh, journey again so uh, until we see each other again uh, you take care stay safe hide it from new zealand goodbye